First question, Kelly Eco. Hey, Coach. Obviously, this two-game road trip, um, they haven't been everyone available, but did you take anything away from these two games? It could be, you know, John Walls looked excellent. It could be, you know, some of the guys have looked really good in driving kicks and in this game especially. But just what did you take away from these two games overall? Yeah, I mean, um, I, I, I choose to look at it a little differently. Um, I did learn that if we're not going to come with the correct defensive intensity, uh, we're not going to be able to win. Um, if we're not committed to stopping people like we have been up until this point, it's going to be hard for us to win. And uh, obviously, like you said, John, getting into the paint and making plays for others and our spacing and whatnot can be okay. But to give up 130 points, to give up 60 points in the paint, 18 second chance points, that's not a good recipe for winning. So um, with Christian out, we're going to have to band together as a group and uh, really concentrate very much on the boards, but just our overall defensive mindset, defensive mentality, because these two games have shown that our defense has taken a step back and uh, we got to get it back. Jason Bristol. Steven, I know PJ Tucker does so many other things for you. Um, he had a few baskets tonight, but do you need more from him offensively or do you just need more from everybody? It's kind of the everybody thing. I wouldn't put it on PJ. PJ is, does so much for us uh, on the defensive end. He's switchable. He guards the best player. He guards post players. He spaces so he creates gaps for other people on the floor. Um, so for him to be three for seven tonight, um, you know, that's, that's fine for me. It's, uh, we just got to make sure that everybody, the whole group is stepping up and that we're creating situations where we're getting out and running off of stops. And uh, PJ helps us create those stops. So um, we, we got to do that. We got to create some offense off of our defense. And our defense hasn't been very good. Thank you. Yep. Brian Beckfield. Coach, you are well rebounded tonight by 18, and you gave up 60 points in the paint. How hard is it as a coach to, with, with this condensed schedule that you have, because now you're right back, you know, on the road, traveling back home, and then you got a game on Thursday. How hard is it to correct some of these mistakes that you all are making defensively? Uh, it's hard, but it's hard on everybody. Everybody has the same schedule. Everybody's playing back-to-backs, and everybody's playing one day in between games. So we're not going to use that as an excuse. Um, we got to do better. And uh, a lot of the, like, points in the paint and rebounding things isn't necessarily a technical uh, or a schematic type thing. It's going to get the ball and keeping the ball out of the middle of the paint. So um, we got to do better. Adam Spolin. Stephen, how much of tonight is a product of this being the second night of a back-to-back -back and this being five games and seven nights? Oh, um, it would be an easy excuse to be like, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's probably part of it. But I choose to believe that we, when we come with the intensity that we came with, when we cut it to like eight, I think, or ten, um, then we have a chance to win the basketball game. And those guys came in and did a great job and we're switching and we're active and all of that. So we have to make sure that we have that same energy activity uh, throughout the game. But um, it's funny that you say that because I hadn't thought about it being the fifth game in seven nights for a couple of days. I'd just been concentrating on each individual game. So there might be something to that. We knew it was going to be a hard game tonight, but um, we, we definitely need to do better. Cody Davis. Hey, Coach. Um, we saw you take DeMarcus Cousins out a little bit earlier than normal. How much is that is based off of his lateral quickness not being up to par on the defensive side of the ball? But at the same time, was it, was it a hard decision knowing that he could possibly help clean up the board? Yeah, it was, it was a hard decision. I played him a bunch in the first half, um, and the re, the, that was the reason, because of the rebounding, and he was getting shots. And I trust him to shoot those shots and make those shots. He just didn't make them tonight. 
Um, and then in the second half, I did take him out. I don't think I took him out that much earlier, but the small group kind of got us going a little bit. So I just stuck with the small group. It wasn't anything more than that. Kelly Eco. Um, speaking of the small group, it, it has been something that has brought you guys back in games over the season. Um, obviously, you like to play a bit more, more traditional, but could you lean on that a bit more in the coming days in, in games? Um, I don't know how much more I, I can. Uh, there, I'm playing a lot of small ball. When Cuz isn't in the game, then we're small. So Cuz was in for 22 minutes. That leaves 26 minutes of small. And I don't see us playing that much more. It really depends on the matchups. But as you can see, when we're small, it's hard for us to rebound. So we yeah. got to make sure that we are um, big at times. And we really got to just gang rebound as a group and make sure that we are uh, attentive to the last part of it because switching and that sort of thing can keep a team perimeter. And obviously, we didn't do a great job of keeping them perimeter because they just drove and scored in the paint and stuff. But uh, the rebounding part is one of the things that makes it hard to stay small for such a long stretch. And uh, and then because with his minutes, we're, we're going to need those because that's our that's our main rebounder. Thank you. Yep. Brian Bearfield. Coach is not playing uh, John or uh, Victor in back to backs. So is that something that the medical staff has told you would be best for them in the first half? And will we see more of them playing in back to backs in the second half of the season? Yeah, I'm not really, really sure. We kind of mapped it out for the first half of the season, and then we're going to reevaluate once All-Star comes. So we still have a few more back-to-backs that we got to kind of negotiate and deal with. But, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. It really is very dependent on how they're feeling, how their bodies are reacting. Um, John played 34 minutes tonight, and that's probably right where he should be. So we're, we're really got to make sure that we are looking at the long haul. But like I say, these games are coming fast, and, and uh, the long haul doesn't mean doesn't mean anything if you're not winning the go, the games in the in the uh, short term. So we we got to make sure that we're taking care of them and taking care of their bodies. But it's got really got to be a, a group effort. And as far as them bumping their minutes up, um, figuring out the back to backs in the second half, we'll do that at a later date. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Kelly Eco. Sorry, I have one more question. Um, Coach, have no you been able to get updates on Kevin Border down with the Vipers? Have you been able to get? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I guess he, they had a scrimmage and he played really well in the scrimmage. Um, they play tomorrow. I'm supposed to speak to Mahmoud, the head coach, tomorrow um, after their shoot-around before their game. So I'll get a, a better – I've been getting – like written reports and that sort of thing, but to actually talk to him. And then I've been connecting with uh, with KP. And, uh, you know, he's just trying to – he just wants to play. He just wants – he hasn't had an opportunity to really play much this season. So he's excited to be down there. We're excited to have him down there. And uh, tomorrow I'll get a full report from uh, Mahmoud, and then they'll play. So we'll get a chance to see what it looks like. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Coach. Yep.